big forehand by Nalbandian, and if he's going to have success today against Federer, the forehand will have to be on because we know how good his backhand is. Now Bandian takes that backhand so early. You look at the stroke, it's so compact. Very little backswing. Winner of this set, and the world number one. It's making Federer pay for a lot of those second serves. Fences. It's a real test, this, of Federer's ability to change a losing game. And he's talked about his ability to do that has grown considerably over the last few years. And we'll see if we can put some change of tactics into play. It's over. That's much better. 
forward. You know what, I think now Bandian's run out of steak. Well, now Bandian has stopped hitting the ball. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Drive, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's the way to play a drop volley. And the resist. as he achieves what he did last year at this stage of the tournament, inflicting a three-set win on Malvandia. Last year he dropped the middle set. This year the first set was snatched from him by an absolutely rampant Malvandia who played quite wonderful tennis, but he couldn't keep it up. It all went wrong for him in the middle of that second set when he changed his tactics and there was never any doubt thereafter the challenge simply faded completely so there it is the score three six six one six one in an hour and 27 minutes now big cheer for the winner of the match well, it looked like it might be now banyan's day but that's why they played two out of three sets because it's up to, it's up to uh, the person who won that opening set to be able to keep it up. And unfortunately for Nalbanian, he wasn't able to sustain his level of play. And as the match went on, well, it became evident more and more difficult to win his first serve, win points on his second serve. Federer absolutely dominating after having lost that first set where it looked like Nalbanian was the much better player. But... When it all ended, well, it was better with a lot more winners and Albanian with far more unforced errors. Just wasn't able to really win points as the match went on. And we talked about it looked like it could be Albanian's day, but you have to sustain your level play against the world number one. And also, you don't want to change a winning game. And we talked about the fact that Albanian started doing things that he hadn't been doing. And once Federer got those opportunities, he put the Argentine away. So many unforced errors crept into Nalbandian's game too. There was no way he could win when they mounted as quickly as they did. Let's look back now at some of the great moments.